Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a Mercury Retrograde in Libra Twin Flame reading for my dearest Geminis. So Mercury Retrograde in Libra has us going over old ground and rediscovering things on a different level. So we're going to look at how we do relationships, our habits when we're trying to build intimacy, and most of all, how to process emotions and make healthy adjustments within our lives and especially on this twin flame journey. So Gemini, I'm gonna read the Divine Feminine on the left, the Divine Masculine on the right, and then we're gonna see what's going on in this connection, on this on this twin, in this connection during Mercury retrograde. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied there. All right, so Geminis, let's see what messages come through. Oof, all right, so we have jealousy. The Divine Feminine is experiencing jealousy. Wow. The Divine Masculine is mourning the connection, and we have Divine Union. Okay, so I feel as if both of you, wow, interesting energy that's coming through. So I do feel the Divine Feminine, I feel as if you guys have or have been in union, maybe you're in separation. It is possible that you haven't met each other, each other yet, and this is the energy that you're experiencing. The Divine Masculine may be mourning um, the loss of a relationship or there could even be a partner um, who has crossed over, okay? Um, it is also possible that you two are in separation and the Divine Feminine is feeling very jealous and triggered and the Divine Masculine is very sad and missing the Divine Feminine. So it's like you're both sort of feeling bad about not being together. Um, but it could also be that the Divine Masculine is mourning the loss of a karmic partner. And remember, not all karmics are bad. You know, it could be somebody that, you know, that the Divine Masculine really loved. And again, for some of you, there may have been a transition um, where somebody has crossed over in the Divine Masculine's life. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a friend or a family member. Um, but the Divine Feminine is definitely feeling triggered here. So the overall energy we have is quenched. All right, so... Somebody here is going to be getting what they want or is, you know, is hoping to, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Divine Feminine. So she's definitely in a jealous and sort of triggered energy. Let's see what she's thinking or feeling right now. So we've got the three of wands in reverse, yeah. So the divine feminine may be also, I feel like there's a lot coming up to the surface, whether it's about this particular connection or it's past heart heartache, hurts and disappointments or betrayals, but she may feel as if the divine masculine has a choice. Um, I, I feel like she may just be also, but I don't know if she realizes um, like I, I feel like the divine feminine here might be going to worst case scenario and just imagining that she's not together with the masculine because there's some sort of third party. Now, for some of you, there may actually be a third party, um, but she's definitely feeling like there's been a setback, um, that the divine masculine has chosen someone or something else over her. Okay. And that's what's triggering this jealous energy. The way she's viewing the Divine Masculine as the Knight of Cups, so as her, you know, as her person, as somebody that, you know, she loves, that she wants to, that she wants to be with, that she wants to move this connection forward. Um, remember, I'm not talking about gender. It's not a gender-specific reading. I'm reading energy. So she sees the Divine Masculine as her, quote-unquote, knight in shining armor, regardless of gender. What the Divine Feminine doesn't see coming is death, Scorpio energy. So there could be some sort of ending. Now it could be that, you know, if there's a lot of drama and a lot of triggers around this situation. So say the Divine Masculine is mourning the loss of a family member or somebody that he really truly loved or a spouse. Um, you know, if he's, if the divine feminine is, is in a very distorted feminine energy, causing a lot of drama, making him feel bad, guilty, being very clingy, very jealous, um, feeling as if she's not good enough, you know, this could be, this could really be that the divine masculine's feelings for the divine feminine 
are are dying okay but I also feel that there may be some sort of rebirth within this situation so the final outcome energy here is the three of swords yeah so there may have been a temporary pause within this connection is what I'm seeing. I just feel like the divine feminine here is in a bit, has a bit of distorted feminine energy that needs to be purged and released. That's causing jealousy or unnecessary drama or feelings of self-worth are being really brought up to the surface or a lack of self-worth because for some of you, the divine masculine experienced the loss in a family, like a, a parent or a sibling or a friend or a grandparent or even a pet, something like that. And I feel like this really triggered the divine feminine to feel like, you know, there's been a setback or he's choosing somebody else over me. So just watch out for that because the death card is telling me that, you know, this this is something that really needs to be looked at because it could be driving a wedge between you. Now, for others of you, maybe the divine masculine is going through a breakup or a separation, okay? And the feelings that, you know, this has hit him very hard. And so the divine feminine is seeing that, is sensing that, is feeling that. And that's really triggering her. Like, wow, he really loved this person. He really cared for this karmic. All right, but the, again, that's something that really needs to be looked at. Um, it's something that's coming up for the Divine Feminine that needs to be purged and released. So maybe some solar plexus chakra work here. But what is beautiful here is even if there has been an ending between you two, um, there's definitely regret, there's healing, there's a coming back together. Um, and I like that because, again, this is something that can be resolved but there's deep transformation and transition needs to take place, okay? So I know not all of you are gonna enjoy those messages or hearing those messages, um, but they need to come out, all right? There's somebody here, the Divine Feminine here does need to take a look at this jealousy and these triggers um, because for a lot of, for some of you, this is unfounded jealousy, okay? Um, and so we need to really go in and take a look at our own self-worth. What is making us feel this way? All right, let's go ahead and see what comes through on the Divine Masculine. So what he may be thinking or feeling at this point in time. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is in an energy of waiting, strategizing. I, I really do also feel that whatever this energy is that the Divine Feminine is experiencing, it has been... A bit of a turnoff for the masculine so just keep that in mind where he's not capable or wanting to put time and effort into this connection I feel like he's overwhelmed with whatever this energy of mourning is or grief okay so just be aware of that how he's viewing the divine feminine the queen of pentacles in reverse so this is again a little bit of a warning here if you're identifying as the divine feminine because he's viewing the divine feminine as the queen of pentacles in reverse somebody who may be greedy somebody here who may be um you know like obsessive and clingy somebody that doesn't either want to let him out of her sight um the queen of pentacles in reverse is also somebody who's a bit too 3d focused so i do feel that there's a need to really pull back and see the bigger picture here because the Divine Masculine really is grieving or mourning the loss of someone or something here. Something that was very important to him. Um, I feel like at a deep level, the Divine Feminine feels that. But her own sort of energetic detritus and projections are sort of getting in the way there. Okay, but again, this is something that this is what's coming up to be purged and released during this Mercury retrograde. And I absolutely see that happening. Okay, the Divine Masculine, what he doesn't see coming is the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this can be, we get a lot of threes coming out here. It, the, the Three of Cups can be vicious gossip, but more than anything, I feel like this is like disappointment. This is like an emotional overload um, the Three of Cups in reverse is an energy of, I just feel like he's being energetically overloaded here by what the Divine Feminine is projecting on him because he's going through something that's very difficult. 
you know, the three of cups to me is about je jealousy as well. I just keep seeing that there's like jealousy and there's emotional drama that's very draining. And outcome and advice is the Knight of Pentacles. So we see the Knight of Pentacles being very cautious, very slow moving. I do feel the Divine Masculine in this situation may be pulling his energy back because there's a significant amount of distorted feminine energy that needs to be cleansed and purged before you guys can come together. And whatever he may be going through needs to be honored and respected. And I feel as if he's not getting that from the Divine Feminine, or at least that's how he's feeling. Like with this Queen of Pentacles, I kind of get this energy of it's not all about you, Divine Feminine. There's something here that that has really been hurtful or heartbreaking and it's emotionally overwhelming. And, and for some reason, he can't put time and effort into this connection. Now, whether the Divine Feminine knows that or not, but he is moving slowly towards that. I feel as if he's really trying to heal. And it could be something that happened within his community or within his family. But it's been absolutely energetically draining here. Okay. So the lessons that need to be learned or what's coming to the surface here is the angel of the night. So to me, this is looking at that shadow energy that's coming up. And, and, it's, and it feels like it's the divine feminine really needing to take a look at negative reactions, triggers, and doing this shadow work because it's causing some sort of energetic block within this divine union. We get the five of wands here in reverse. So I do see that things are reversible. Um, there can be reconciliation, but the, the this energy, this conflict needs to be resolved needs to be released. And again, I feel like it's jealousy, but I feel like it's it's a weird energy I'm picking up on. And maybe not all of you are going to like this, but it feels as if the, the divine feminine is causing unnecessary drama. Feeling like she's not getting the attention that she deserves, but the divine masculine is going through something quite intense that I feel like does need his time and effort whether it's his own healing or it's something going on within his family or there's a loss of a loved one. So it's like there needs to be this elimination of conflict or like it's not about a competition because what I'm seeing with this divine union, what I'm seeing is that the divine masculine, especially with this knight of pentacles, loves the divine feminine and is steady and moving towards her or not really ever really even going anywhere but needs the freedom and the space to, to purge and release whatever this might be. All right. So what's being learned or the lessons here, we have the hermit energy. So I feel as if whether this is a separation or, and some of you guys, you may be together, but there's an energy of independence that needs to be gained within this connection, allowing each other healthy space to room and to breathe, uh, healthy room and space to breathe and for freedom. Um, and I feel like this is really triggering for the divine feminine to transform something within her. Um, she has the wisdom and the strength within, and there's this like little bit of a dark period where she's learning that, where she is learning going within and learning these lessons. And with the temperance energy, it's telling us Sagittarius, Virgo and Sag coming through really strong here, that there's a deep healing that needs to take place. And I feel like that's, I feel like the masculine needs to heal from something pretty serious, but the divine feminine needs to sort of temper her actions and her emotions to tame that beast to allow the masculine to go through this, even if she can't be privy to all of everything that he's feeling or thinking at this point in time. I do also feel like there is resolution here with this quenched energy um, that the divine feminine is really being asked to look at feelings of lack or not being good enough or not having enough or not getting enough. 
but I don't feel like the divine masculine is disrespecting or dishonoring the, the feminine in this process. I feel like she's really being asked to take a look at, you know, being, being on her own and being strong. You know, when we're in a healthy divine connection, divine counterpart connection, there are moments, whether you're the divine feminine or the divine masculine, when you're together, those roles swap and shift and are very fluid when necessary. And so I feel like this is a time where the divine feminine needs to really sort of hold space and create a foundation and be an anchor for the divine masculine as he goes through this and not feel as if she's being ignored or or get into that go down that rabbit hole of well what's going on is there somebody more important to me than him to him than to me within this connection and that's something there that really needs to be looked at i do feel that it's happening though and we see the five of cups so yeah there's this grief there's this mourning there's this sadness there's this sorrow um, that's around this connection right now, but more than anything, it feels like the divine masculine has gone through some sort of loss, some sort of, um, you know, some sort of grief or mourning here, whether it's, you know, somebody within his family, his friend group, um, or if it's even, even if it's a karmic situation that somebody that he really truly loved, it's not a reflection of how much he loves and cares for the divine feminine, but it's something that he really does need to go through. And they're showing me here with this card what I was talking about, that role reversal where the divine feminine needs to, because we see here the divine masculine needing to be more in his feminine energy to receive, okay? And that the divine mas the divine feminine needs to show up more in her masculine energy rather than being in a distorted feminine, okay? And making it all about her or, you know, going into, like I said, this energy of not feeling good enough, Wow, I know some of you aren't going to like those messages, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So with the Divine Feminine, we see Native American. Okay, interesting. So the Divine Feminine um, could have some sort of ties or past life or lives as a Native American or could be working with um, Native American ancestors, um, or ascended masters. I also, with this energy, um, you know, I feel like this is about purging and releasing, um, really taming that beast within, holding back when necessary, holding space, not turning inward or on herself because the divine masculine needs her to step up as the divine masculine at this point in time. All right, leaving or travel. So I do feel that way. So I do feel that the divine masculine may have either had to travel to take care of somebody within the family or a funeral or needed to travel, needed to be on his own right now. We see that hermit energy here, I think. Yeah, the hermit energy needing to go on a journey on his own, but it's not an abandonment of the feminine. It's something that he has to do. And we get wisdom. Beautiful. So what's happening here is, is that there are miracles going to, it's going to feel like a miracle because I do feel like this divine union is destined. There's the resolution of conflict after a period of solitude and learning, um, healing, and also learning to control emotions and not rushing to conclusions. Um, but there's a lot of shadow work that's taking place and there's a lot coming to the surface to be purged and released, but it's also a transmutation of anything negative. Okay. Emotions, reactions, or experiences, transmuting them into wisdom here. Okay. So powerful, powerful reading here, you guys definitely. And remember, it's not gender specific. So commune with the source. So we have for the divine feminine really needing to um, spend some time in prayer and meditation and take a look at those triggers and negative reactions that are being brought to the surface. Where do they come from? Uh, connecting with source energy through prayer, through meditation. Purging and releasing this energy, letting go of it. Um, yeah, cultivate love, effervescence for the divine masculine. So I do feel the divine masculine is experiencing the loss or an ending of a connection or of a person, something that was very dear to him. 
Um, but I also feel like the divine masculine is moving towards the feminine, hasn't let go of her or doesn't have plans to, but is cultivating love, um, even holding space while the divine feminine works through um, this distorted feminine energy that I'm picking up on uh, really strong here in this reading. All right, and we get honor your mystical and creative force. Beautiful. All right, so number 22, it's the master builder number. So again, I do feel that this connection is strong. This connection can withstand pretty much anything, but there's a real need for the divine feminine to step up, um, to do the shadow work, to take a look at what's being brought to the surface. Um, and then also to, you know, and I feel like this is the divine masculine honoring your creative and mystical force. Like, cause I feel like the divine masculine is learning to sit comfortably in his feminine or recognizing that these roles need to sort of shift and swap and change in order for this connection to, you know, to last. Um, and it's absolutely true. Those roles need to shift and change, um, depending on what we're going through. interesting reading all right so the divine feminine we get untamed wild and mysterious she who is wild but you know what i'm getting here is you know i feel like this is the energy the divine feminine has been in but we see this energy what i was saying with the temperance energy to tame that beast within needing to really temper her actions and her emotions um because i do feel and i know some of you aren't gonna like it and that's okay um, but that this isn't all, you know, it's about, it's about recognizing that what's going on here isn't all about the divine feminine. The divine masculine needs to turn his attention to his own healing or to this other situation, family, work, whatever it might be, closing out a karmic cycle, whatever it is. Okay. And this is somehow triggering the divine feminine. And this is a lesson that she really needs to learn. It's this part of this spiritual evolution and emotional maturation. The divine masculine is empower, uplift, and elevate. She who rises up. So I do feel that he recognizes he's holding space for the divine feminine as she goes through this. But he's also feeling quite exhausted. And he knows he's not able to really to, to be there the way that he normally is. But that's part of this transition. It's part of this learning process. It's part of the growth. You know, helping. It's sort of like giving the divine feminine her legs. Um, to room to grow. Um, he is in the. He's trying to uplift and to. Uh, it's like he's trying to heal something that he's been through, and he has to focus on himself right now. Okay, and we get surprise, discovery, and revelation. She who surprises. So I also feel that you know there is a sort of surprise ending, and I, I kept getting that with this quenched card. That despite the difficulties that. The difficulties that you guys may have experienced within this connection or experiencing individually, it's like there's a surprise twist ending where everything just sort of works out, where everything comes together, where this, you know, this very emotionally upended period comes to an end and it, it ends in happiness and it ends in joy. And that's not just me sugarcoating it. It's like, you know, it's like realizing, wow, we can get through this. This was a really tough lesson. Um, but we see Jenna, she who calms. So I feel like, I feel like this energy, there's like the, the divine feminine is sort of in this anxious, fiery, reactive energy at the beginning of this reading. But after we've sort of gone through this, as the energy has shifted and changed, it's become calm. It's become oh, there's this awakening. Now I get it. I see what's really going on. It's a, it's a beautiful lesson here, you guys. It's actually two people working together, allowing each other, loving each other, despite their flaws, um, despite circumstance, loving and accepting one another, you know, because nobody's perfect and we all have negative reactions and triggers. And I feel the divine masculine really holding space for the divine feminine as, as she goes through this. Um, but also knowing and, and knowing that he needs to work on healing, whatever this is that, that he needs to. So I'll choose you in a heartbeat over and over again. Okay. 
and just a bit more time. Yeah, so I feel like the separation or the silence um, is going to take, it may last throughout this Mercury retrograde period, but I feel like this is the Divine Masculine's message to the Divine Feminine, despite everything, you know, despite how things may seem or despite how you may have felt at the beginning of this journey, this Knight of Pentacles, he will still choose the Divine Feminine over and over again. Um, even if he needs to turn his attention to himself or to this other situation or connection um, for healing and for empowerment um, and for up-leveling. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.